Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is the 2023 American Coach Midwest Patriot FD2. Let's take a look. Side step for the passenger, running board along the sliding door, big awning on top, opening window back here, two one ten outlets below, Moving to the rear, on top there's a backup camera. Down below is the 5,000 pound tow hitch and a seven pin connection. Moving to the driver's side, there's an opening window up here. This is the 30 amp connection. Right here, is the compartment for water inlet, city water, your valve switches, outdoor shower, cable inlet, and sewer connection. Side step for the driver. And you do have to open the driver's door to access your diesel input. In the front, there's a camera and some sensors. All right, let's take a look inside. Power door. nice screen door that does have a couple of latches to keep it secured when you're not using it. A button for the power sliding door. And here's a grab handle. Let's check it out. And this is what it looks like inside. All right, so let's start with the cockpit area. I do have to duck to get into this front area. Wow, this seat is nice and comfortable, nice and plush. Love the diamond stitching on the seats, the quilted look. And these seats are power seats and heated seats, and there are three position memory settings. There's also power mirrors. Love the additional touch that they did with the quilting on the side of the door also. Now the steering wheel is leather wrapped and it does have some nice controls on it. The controls on the left controls the information center right in front of the driver and the controls on the right controls this infotainment center right here in the middle. On the dash there are some storage compartments. There's one right here in front of the driver cup holder located in front of the driver also. In the center, another storage area. This one has a wireless charging pad and it also has a 12 volt, a USB port connects up to that information center right here in the middle and two additional USB ports. Cup holder right here in front of the passenger and an additional storage area in front. There's also a ledge in front of the passenger down below. Located in the center, there are four additional cup holders. There's a button to control the power sliding door. Right here in front of the driver below the steering wheel is a control panel. Down below, there's a USB port and a 12 volt. Now up above, there's a ledge on top of the driver and on top of the passenger, and it's a little ledge where you can store some items. And check out the ceiling, nice padded quilted stitching above. Nice little touch. All right, so let's check out the rest of this RV. 
Now I've noticed there's some nice padding on the floor in the cockpit area. Now directly above that cockpit area, there's this storage compartment and it is a good size. It goes back pretty deep. There's a speaker right here on the side. And above, there's a power air vent that they've covered with this nice dark wood trim. Behind the driver's seat is the pouch that stores the tabletop for the Lagoon table. The driver's seat and the passenger seat both have this nice little pocket where you can stash some items. Now, upon entry of the sliding door, we have the battery monitor and a control panel. And below that control panel, there's a battery switch and a fridge switch. Now let's check out the kitchen. Now it doesn't really offer too much counter space. However, the sink is covered and it's a good size. It does have this pull out spray faucet. And on the side of the sink, there's a one burner induction cooktop. Nice solid surface countertop. Above is the microwave. And it's a decent size and it is not convection. Below is this flip down drawer where you can store some sponges or any additional items. Below that is the refrigerator. And it's a pretty good size. There's two levels of storage and a long bin below. The freezer goes back pretty deep, but it is one of those floppy doors. Now the door of the refrigerator has three storage levels and they are not adjustable. On the side of the refrigerator, there are three drawers. The bottom one is somewhat small. The one on top appears to be about the same size. And the one on the top of those is deeper. On the side, there are two 110 outlets. So now let's check out the bathroom. It's located right across from the kitchen area and the sliding door. So let's open up this door. Now there are two doors. You don't have to open up the second one, but if you need it, it's there for you. It has this nice latch that secures it to the top. And check out the bathroom. All right, so I'm gonna step in and check out its size. So it's got a good amount of space this way for me, and this way is not too bad. There's a retractable clothesline, two lights above, and a power air vent. Let's check out the shower head. Has a brushed nickel look to it, does have a start stop switch below, and it retracts right into the sink countertop area. There's a nice round sink, brushed nickel looking faucets. Below there's a covered toilet paper holder and a long porcelain toilet. This is a plastic shower curtain that you just pull right across. Okay, I'm gonna close this up and it latches quite nicely. Right on the side of the bathroom, there's a controller for the power air vent in the main area and the bathroom light switch. Directly beside that, there's a wardrobe and it is a pretty good size. There are no adjustable shelves, however, but it is all nice and padded throughout does have a removable closet rod in there 
and they've included this nice long mirror on the door. Let's check out the rear living area. So this rear sofa seat is really nice and comfortable. I'm loving the diamond quilt stitching back here. There are three seat belts located on this rear seat. There's also some side seats. The one on the passenger side is nice and comfortable. The one on the driver's side is somewhat unusable because the wardrobe is located right above it. However, the Lagoon table mount is located right here. And let me show you the Lagoon table right here. Nice big surface area. Love that it has this nice texture to it so your items won't easily slip right off. And you can always just store it right on the driver's side seating area here since you can't really sit there anyway. Now located above that, there's a control panel for your climate. Below that, there's a TV that does swivel out. There are two 110 outlets, a USB port, HDMI, and a Fusion stereo. On the driver's side here, there's this big window. Now this is the locking latch. You just flip that down and the, the window slides easily. Has a nice screen. And a pull down privacy shade. Right here, there's a cup holder. Speaker above, couple of lights, a speaker on the passenger side also, and another big window area that does open up, slides nicely again, has a nice big screen area, and a pull down privacy shade. Now right here on the passenger side, there's another control panel, two USB ports and a cup holder. Now this rear seating area does transform into the bed. You use the control panel located right here on the passenger side and there is a switch for it and it lays the bed down flat. <laughs> And then you would just put down the insert here in the middle. And these two backrests from the side seats go right in the middle. Very easy. So that pretty much wraps it up for this tour of the 2023 American Coach Patriot Midwest FD2. I'm liking all the high-end luxurious finishes to it, love the dark colors, however there are some hazards in here. The TV does stick out, the store handle does stick out quite a bit too, and of course the cab area has that overhead storage area that you can hit your head on. Love that the kitchen was all in one place, everything you need right here. So thank you so much for joining me today. Please subscribe to my channel and join me for some more videos. Bye.